Yo, what is going on guys? My name's Defend the Machine and today guys I've got you with another bow tutorial and today we're going to be making the void bow, the pink bow or whatever you want to call it. So the first step right there is go underneath this little bridge thing and shoot that and then go below it and pick up the arrows. And I want to say guys, if you're watching this right now, which you probably are, which you obviously are, I don't know why I said that to be honest because how else are you watching the video, you need to pay attention to the steps. So now what I'm going to say is go and knife a zombie over this little illuminating pink square on the floor. And if you guys think this tutorial is rushed, I'm very sorry, but now we need to go up and pick up some skulls. So they're in various places around the map. And if you press square, you need to press square before you go out of this area on this thing and it will rise up to the ceiling. And then you can get on with gathering the skulls. So the very first skull location is named Mule Kick. And I don't show a really long clip for this, but you'll, you guys will be able to like reinterpret where on your map you are compared to where you are near the skulls and stuff and I got this one here already so you guys won't see that one there but it is there up near the power one of the ways to get to there in that room where the second dragon is where I like to do but the third one is near the teleporter going into your right into the room when you're going in there and then the next one is actually going through the teleporter and in this truck near the rocket pad now it's right next to the rocket pad and the skulls are pretty easy to get to be honest and uh, it's it's kind of a weird thing to be honest because like Samantha's bedroom there I mean why would you have a skull in there that's Samantha's bedroom and then the last one is near double tap right there so you guys know the skulls are kind of easy to get because they're scattered around the map if you get crawlers or a zombie at the end of a round like I did on round six there it's easy now what you have to do speaking of crawlers is get six crawlers near the skulls and make sure the skull kills them and now I'm gonna let you guys listen to this bit because if you miss this part then you guys won't be able to do this Easter egg step, so I'm gonna let you listen to his name, what he says. Alright, guys, so you heard him right there, he said Hart Griffin Horn, and he says really weird names. I think Stag's one of them, but in this case, I had Hart Griffin and Horn. And I need to get these little symbols by just simply killing zombies and once you've got six of them you know you've got enough to fill up the circle. Now these symbols go up on the floor and well not up on the floor but they go down on the floor in that little ritual area where we were and they go into the floor like panels. So these represent Apothecan language for like this little letters or whatever you might get told by him. That's why you need to really listen so in this little step if you haven't heard him then you're too late. You need to restart the whole thing again. I know it sucks guys but you need to just collect these little pink symbols when you've got six count in your head how many you're on you will have enough and then you can go back and actually put in his name or do the step to put in his name what to start with and everything like that so how to start that part that's what it should look like when it's done and then you can get on to the next step so what he said here is you need to go back to where these knights are near the power switch I, he said heart to me sorry so I put my first one on the heart symbol then he said griffin to me for his second part of his name so I go over to the griffin symbol put my of this little symbol in there and then you need to remember these symbols don't go out of the room until you memorize all these symbols in the order he told you and then the last one was horn which is right there so I wrote these down on a little bit of paper like the symbols the pink symbols here because you need to shoot arrows into the ones in the ground that are actually near them statues so it's kind of like a little translation thing and then you go back here and then once you've done that it says yeah that's my name and everything say my name say my name and all that stuff but then it gives you that arrow and then like the last uh, upgraded but I tutorial I showed you guys you have to go back and then get souls to fill up the arrow to create the bow and I get really lucky here to be honest because I'm going to show you guys right now what happens to me and I basically just go and I get a death machine I'm going to play this clip again so you guys know what to do you press square and then you actually you know the bow comes up and then you need to press square to actually get the bow but I do get really lucky down in the ritual area for the actual um getting the bow itself, sacrificing the souls and stuff, but it is on a different round and a panzer came in between, I nearly died, so I was really lucky there. So what we're doing now, we've just put the arrow in the correct box, I mean it's the one that's pink, so, you know, colour coordination, you need to know which one is right, so the pink box we're focusing on right here, and all you do, you get a max ammo, so you get loads of ammo in your bow, and I'm on round 13, so I'm doing this pretty early as well, and all you're going to do is keep shooting around this pyramid, I let them get down the stairs first, just in case, in a round, because I don't want to 
get up too many rounds without doing this because on this map it's so compact and you get hit a lot and here's my death machine look right here I get a death machine I don't know if you guys will get that lucky so I got a nuke as well but obviously the souls don't count if you get a nuke and that's all you have to do I mean it is easy if you pay attention and you listen to the names he's saying and you like translate and draw down your little symbols in translation to the Apothecan language for what his name is so mine was again Hart, Griffin and Horn and I put them symbols in in the correct order on the floor when I shot the arrows on the floor into those symbols that I'd seen up uh, below the knight, sorry not above the knight but where the knight is standing so they go below the knights and that's near Samantha's bedroom near the power and here we are we can go and get our bow so yeah it's gonna be done we put our arrow in once the souls quit being sacrificed and then the bow is being made look at that purple streak baby that looks awesome so that's basically it on a whole guys it's not too hard if you pay attention like I said and I will have a video up going on about how you can get the bow on round four and then this bow even as early as round 14 like I did here or even earlier if you get lucky with the symbols where you actually have to get six of them to put in the ground so you know what symbols you're going to translate from the Apothecan language into the guy's name so here's gameplay now it's a really cool bow and the skulls just go nom 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 around people so you get more ammo as well you get 75 shots in total if you don't pull your bow all the way back because I know when you're shooting your bow if you pull it all the way back you use more arrows apparently which is a bit weird because it doesn't really make physical sense but anyways that's all for today's video slap a like down below this was pretty hard for me and peace out.